Pierce, uh, you know, I, I was lucky enough to work with Pierce on a movie called his passion project called Evelyn uh, that he produced uh, through his company Irish Dreamtime. And uh, so I knew Pierce before. He's just a, you know, he's exactly what you want him to be. You know, and a lot of times these guys have facades and, and so on, and, but he's a, a very likable guy and very, um, you know, a real guy, you know. And, and that's hard to do when you're in, in, in his position, you know. He's, uh, doesn't matter where he goes, he gets in, approached and uh, he's very gracious and he's, you know, he's been really um, very great at uh, handling all that. Well, I just think the, you know, besides being the ultimate James Bond, especially the work Pierce has done lately, he's really just sort of growing with his kind of character and age, and, and he's so damn handsome, and he has a real uh, power in him, you know? I mean, he's, he can be really frightening, and I don't think we've ever seen that part of him when he wasn't cool frightening. Now he's just sort of, you know, kind of earthy, scary, and I, he's really sexy in it. He's very Irish, much more Irish than I thought. I knew he came from Ireland, but I didn't realize he was so... He has that Celtic, uh, this wild energy, and he contains it, and, it's, and he's getting a chance here to go into that dark side, and it's been a real pleasure to watch because I think this will be quite a seminal role for him, and, and people will really kind of sit back and go, wow. And I love it when I see actors surprise me like that, and I like to try and do that as well. And when you see an actor give a performance or a part of themselves that you didn't know they had, you know, and, and you saw definitely one side of it in The Matador, but I think even the people who have seen The Matador will be surprised by what he gives in this.